Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome back to part two of Repotting Small Trees. I tried to do all the trees yesterday, but I ended up mixing up a big batch of soil. So it's the next day now, and it looks like we're getting rain today. Here's a look at the bin of soil I mixed up. It's about half full. So the safety zorb I used, years ago when I was originally buying safety zorb, it was about $15 a bag. And now it's $29.99 a bag. So it's getting expensive, but uh, it's still the cheapest option for me that still works well. The first oak I'll be repotting today is the one that was given to me by Matt. And I believe it's a red oak, but I'm not sure. It has kind of the rounded lobes on the leaves. So let's get it out of the pot and see what the root system looks like. Here's a look at the tree. So this tree was collected as a small seedling. So it must have had some root pruning to fit it in the cement pot that Matt made. So I'll get it out of the pot now. Okay, so I will get the tree out of the pot. I don't know how easy that will be. Let's just try it. Oh, it's got a few roots growing up the drainage hole that I better snip off. Sometimes they hold the trees in the pot quite well. Okay. Now let me see if I can get it out of the pot. There it goes. Yeah, so these pots that Matt made, they're, they're nice little pots, just simple pots made out of cement. So I'll begin raking out the root system. One thing nice about oak trees is that they retain their leaves throughout the winter. And it can make a nice kind of a winter image of the tree. Then in spring they all fall off as the new buds emerge. So I'm, I'm seeing a big, big tap root in here. I washed the root system on the oak and you can see there is two large roots here. One is a tap root, this, this one here, and this other one is a secondary root, and they both kind of spiral around. So, there's not a whole lot else. Like, there's some fine roots up top here, which are good. Those will eventually be my roots that I use on the tree. So I have to reduce these tap roots, and if I were to cut them right off, I don't think the tree would live. So I've got to do it in stages. So I'll come in with my ratcheting pruners. And, you know, I found on oaks, generally removing half the root is pretty safe. So I'm going to come in here and cut through this root here. So here I go. I can feel it getting looser there so yeah so total you know I've taken off a lot of the root system but I think you know I've got enough on here that the tree will live and eventually I can cut off these big thick roots they'll have to get cut off right at the base of the tree but I have to let all these other roots thicken up first to keep the tree alive so I can do a little more root pruning I can just trim back some of these longer roots. You can see they're all dormant. Uh, nothing's growing in the root system yet. So I'm just kind of trimming back the longer ones like that. And then I think I'll clean up this one. It's kind of, it grows upwards there. So I can take a little more off that like that. And I think that's about it. I can't do much more to this root system. It's, uh, I'm quite sure the tree will live with this amount of root. I could take a little off the bottom, I guess. And that better be it. That better be my root system for this oak, for this repotting. 
I'm going to plant the tree in a slightly larger pot. It'll give that root base lots of room to grow. I think this pot is from Weigert's Nursery. So I think it'll do quite well in there. So I'll get my drainage screens in and a base layer of soil and then plant the tree. I've got my soil in the pot, so I'm ready to plant the tree and I'll just put it right on center. And I want the tree trunk straight, so about like that. And I have to check the height in the pot. It's not bad, it could be lower just a bit. Maybe to about there. Then I'll make sure all my roots are sorted out. Comb out these fine roots. Give them the best start possible. Like that. And make sure they're kind of angled down into the soil. That's good. Okay, I'll start filling it in now. And I'll just kind of raise the tree a bit as I'm working the soil into the roots. Just to make sure those fine roots aren't sticking up. That should be good. The tree is ready to be watered. Okay, here I go with the water. My oak tree is repotted, ready to grow for the summer. The next tree I'll be working on is my ficus carica. It's a hardy fig, the kind that gets the fruit on it that's edible. Here is a look at my ficus. You can't see much of it for the leaves. So I, I've been growing this for several years. The smaller tree here is a cutting off the larger tree. And when I say larger tree, they're not very large. And I've been growing it in this pod for way too long. I would say probably maybe six, maybe seven years. It, I've just, it's one of those ones I've just kind of put in the corner and never really got to. So today I'm going to repot it, try and get it on track as a bonsai instead of just neglecting it in the corner. I'll start the work by removing the old leaves off of the tree. This tree did have mealy bugs on it at one time and I sprayed it and it seems to have gotten rid of the problem. Everything's looking good on the tree. So next, to get the tree out of the pot, I've got to snip off these roots that are growing out the drainage holes. Otherwise, the tree would never come out of the pot. It would be locked in there. Okay, now I'll see if I can get these trees out. There we go. So it's definitely getting root bound. I'll start combing out the soil from the roots. And I was thinking back, I'm not sure if I've ever done any root work on this tree. I may have. I just can't remember. It was so long ago since I've worked on these trees. It looks like, is it my soil in here? So these trees, you know, obviously they're not thick trunk trees and these these ficus carica they never really get thick trunks unless they're super super old and have been grown you know with a lot of vigor and then cut back like I've seen trees that are taller than me and they still have fairly slender trunks on them so, that, so they're not like you know a microcarpa or anything like that where they they can thicken up rapidly these trees tend to stay on the slim side. So I'm going to try and separate the two trees now, like that. And then I'll wash the root system. I think both of these trees were cuttings. They're planted quite deeply in the pot. Okay, I'll wash up the root system 
and then we'll come back for the root pruning. Here's a look at the root system on the trees. So these trees, you know, for being quite old, have a very meager root system. These trees are hardy. They can take freezing. I wouldn't go any lower than about uh, minus five degrees Celsius. They're not like super hardy, but they can take a freeze. So I'm going to start the root pruning. I'm going to prune off this long root um, where it kind of hit the bottom of the pot and starts taking a different direction. There's a root here. I'll prune off the part that goes back in towards the center of the root base. Let's try and keep these roots fanning out. There's one here sticking up. I'll take that one off. And then I have one here that curls up. I'm going to take that off also. And let me just get that root out of there. I think that's about it. I can't do much more in the root system, even though it's like multi planes. You know, I could do a big hard chop here and try and develop the root system up top, but I think it's just too weak to do that. I think if I get some good strong growth this summer, maybe in the future I can prune it back and develop these as surface roots. But yeah, it's not a real strong root system, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. So the next tree is sort of, well, it's very similar. A meager root system. I've got a strong root here I can prune back. I've got one that's kind of growing a little long on the bottom. Maybe prune off some of these bottom roots. Um, this one comes out and then it hit the edge of the pot and starts going downwards. And this root's kind of too horizontal. It's 90 degrees to the trunk. It doesn't flow downwards into the soil. So I'm going to remove that one totally. And this one. This one. This one's a little high. Yeah. So I think that's about it for that root system too. Another one's sticking up here. Okay, so I'll plant the trees. I'm going to plant them in a fairly deep pot. I'll plant them together again and they'll be sort of, you know, skinny little trees that'll be growing together, something like that, I think. I planted that first oak tree in a purple pot. So I think I'll put them in this lavender pot. I got this at the thrift store. It's uh, not a high quality pot, but it'll do. I'll keep it above freezing. It's a good size. It's deep. Uh, it gives the roots lots of room to grow in here. I think it'll be a good training pot for it. I've got a drainage screen in the pot and a base layer of soil. So I'll arrange the trees now. And I don't really want them fanning outwards. I, I kind of want to keep the curvature, you know, sort of similar. So maybe something like that I think looks good. I could maybe vary the plane of the trees so they're not kind of so flat. Yeah, maybe something like that. And I'll have to get the height in the pot at the correct height. Let me just get some soil in there so I can hold the trees in place and have a look at it. Ah, I think something like that's fine. Maybe I'll move the one tree back just a bit. Yeah, that looks good there, I think. All right, I'll fill it in with soil now. And that looks good. So I'll give the trees a water. Yeah, this new soil and the bigger pot should help these trees grow a lot better. They should gain some good vigor this summer. And I have had fruit on these that I've eaten. It was really, really good. I think I got two fruits the one year. And it fruits every year. 
sometimes the free fruit don't really develop that well and they kind of go moldy and fall off but generally they grow quite well on this tree i'll rotate the trees around so you can see them from all angles so here's the front coming around to the right hand side to the back the left hand side and back to the front so these trees stayed in the greenhouse all winter they did freeze over a couple of times just slightly below freezing yeah they they should grow fine this year and hopefully i'll get some fruit on them the next trees i'll be repotting are these crab apple trees it's a little late to be repotting them some of them have leafed out already Hopefully the root system is still fairly dormant and I can do some root pruning and get them uh, repotted into better soil. I'll start with this crab apple. It's just in like nursery soil. So I want to get it into bonsai soil. And this one's leafed out, you know, quite a bit. So we'll see what the root system looks like. I think it's better to get it out of this soil and into bonsai soil than to leave it another year in this tiny little pot. So here's a look at the roots. So I'm not sure. I think these white roots are from the weeds. Uh, I think the root system is still fairly dormant on the trees. So I'll get it bare rooted and then we'll come back for the root pruning. Yeah, there's quite a weed in here. Look at that weed. So this tree, um, the other ones I grew from seed, this one was given to me. It was a little seedling. So I'm not sure what variety of crab apple it is, but I think it's something quite good. I think it was a good species for bonsai. So maybe someday in the far future, I'll get flowers and fruit on it. You never know. It's got a good root system. Very fine roots, nicely spread out. So I think I'll take it to the washing station and wash them all out. Here is a look at the root system on the crab apple. So at first glance, it, it looks, you know, pretty good. There's a lot of roots to choose from. But then when you look at the basic roots, there's a few going some strange directions like this one. So that one has to be pruned away. It's growing up and kind of growing a bit sideways. So that comes off. There's a root in here that's kind of crossing the trunk line. So that needs to be pruned away. And I have to find where it starts from. I'll snip it away there. And I think it wraps around the trunk here or it could maybe start from the trunk in here. Yeah, it does, so I'll prune that away. Like that. And I can trim this one back a bit more here. This root here, you can see it's growing up. So that has to get pruned away. There's a few root hairs that are kind of high in the root base here that I'll prune away. There's a root here. This part's radial, but then this one goes sideways, so I'll take that off. Now, I'm going to go underneath and trim the bottom of the root ball flat. Well, not a root ball, but the root mass. And it is starting to rain out again outside. So flat on the bottom and on the top view, tapering down into the soil is ideal. So that is getting better. It's looking 
much better. These two roots are too high here. I'll get rid of those. This root here, this part of it's sticking up, so I got to get rid of that. There's a root here that comes out and then there's a thick part that goes off on an angle so I'm going to prune that back. I'll do a profile prune to the root system. Getting it a little more compact, get rid of some of these roots growing upwards. And then I'm just taking a look at all the surface roots once again. Let's take part of that one off. Try and encourage that root to grow a little more radially. It's a little off the radial direction. And I think I'm getting pretty close here. I'm just going to do this root here is quite vigorous, so I need to prune it back, take some vigor out of it. I'm going to go right back to here. Otherwise that'll thicken up and get out of scale with the rest of them. It'll get too thick and the rest will stay skinny and yeah, so it'll help balance the root system, encouraging all the roots to grow out evenly. And I think that's good. I think there's enough root on there that the tree will do well. Okay, so I'll get it planted. I have got a pot picked out for the tree. It's plenty big enough for it to grow for a year or two in this pot. So I'll get my drainage screens in, add some soil and plant the tree. Okay, I'm going to plant the tree now. This is kind of the nicest front as far as the root base so I'll make that the front of the tree. I'll make sure it's in the soil here, the roots are combed out and I'll fill it in with soil. Like that. And then I'll just get my fine scissors and just kind of work that soil into the root system. The root system is very fine on this tree. So having that flat root base, it should make all the roots have good contact with the soil. There shouldn't be any air pockets. Okay, I think that's good. I'll give the tree a water now. Okay, here I go with the water. That should be good. And I'll place some stones on the surface of the soil just to hold the tree in place. Okay, let's see. I think this stone is a good size. This one, does it fit? Yes, it does. Okay. There. So that tree can go back on the bench. And I hope the tree does well this year. I hope it grows with lots of vigor. The next crab apples, I started these from a seed last spring and you can see some of the fruit here still on the surface of the soil. So I just took the crab apples, stuck them in soil and these ones germinated. So the reason I'm repotting them, they're in bonsai soil and it's a fairly big container, but I just wanna separate the trees and do some initial pruning on the root system. So I'll get them out of the pot. And this pot I found at the thrift store. Uh, where's my root rake here? Or my tweezers. So I'll just get them out. Yeah, have a look at the root system. Wow, I can see some roots have grown around the bottom of the container, wow. And they're, they're fairly white, so it means the roots are active. But it doesn't mean you can't do root pruning. As long as you keep them well watered, uh, warm, and kind of humid, 
they should recover even though I'm a little late repotting them but again I would rather get them repotted and underway as a bonsai than let them go another year just growing them as a seedling and developing worse and worse roots yeah I think they're kind of attached on the bottom of the pot here they're kind of these roots have wrapped around and kind of fused with each other so I think I'll take them to my water tank even though it's raining outside and get the roots bare rooted and we'll come back and try and separate the trees and do the root pruning here is a look at the root system on the three crab apples so there's a drainage screen here and there's a very thick tap root that's growing right through the drainage screen so I'm going to sever the tap root just above the drainage screen here like that Prune off some of these fine roots to get the drainage screen released. And I hope I can get it out. Oh, maybe not. There's another. Maybe I'll just cut these roots here. So there's the drainage screen out. So there's one tree separated. And now I'll try and separate these two trees. So I'm hoping with these videos. Every root system you get is different, especially, you know, if you're growing them from seeds. And every species of tree grows differently. And I'm hoping you can kind of see what, how I treat the roots of, you know, different kind of root bases and, you know, one-sided roots, ones with big tap roots like these. I'm going to prune away this bird's nest of roots underneath here, uh, getting rid of that. So there's my three trees. So I'm going to look at this one first. I've got some roots up top here, and then the tap root goes down, hits the bottom of the pot, and circles around. So I'm going to do a daring cut here, taking my tap root off right here, like that, keeping you know some fine roots up here that I hope is enough to support the tree and get it growing again over the summer so that's the root pruning done on that tree severe root pruning but i think it has enough left on that it'll survive the next one is the same situation the tap roots grown grown down hit the bottom of the pot now if you wanted a twisty trunk tree you could you know develop this root into part of the trunk and prune it off short so you get some branches up here but I won't do that I'm just taking an upper root off so where to cut this tap root I think I have enough fine roots that I can cut it right here maybe just a little higher right here like that and that's the root pruning done on that one and my last one I've already kind of severed the tap root where it was growing through the drainage screen, but I think I can go a little higher with my cut. There's a lot of roots there. Yeah, I think I want these as my surface roots eventually, so I'm going to sever it right here. Like that, just taking a little more off the bottom. Just putting away some of those long ones. And that that's got the roots pruned up on these three crab apples so I'll replant them in the same pot okay I'm ready to put the trees in the pot so I can't I'll try and comb the roots out but I don't have a lot of roots yet and they're quite fine but I'll, I'll arrange them the best I can add a bit of soil So you can see, you know, this is the second growing season for these trees. And I've already done some, you know, pretty drastic root work on them. But if I hadn't of, that tap root would have just gotten thicker. And it would have gotten even more risky in the future to correct that. So I'm glad that I did repot them today. 
take care of these little seedlings and they'll grow into something pretty special in the future. you get a good looking tree eventually. Okay, so that's ready for watering. So crab apples are quite tough trees. So I think all three of these trees will survive without any problems. Even though I, you know, did some severe root pruning. The next trees I'll be working on are these little hornbeam seedlings. So they're just kind of in some kind of soil, uh, nursery soil or something. So I'm going to get them out and bare root them. And, you know, the earlier you start the root work on these trees, the easier it'll be in the future. So it looks like they're in sort of a mixture of nursery soil and bonsai soil. You can see there's liverwort growing on the surface because they stay moist all the time. So it's never too early to start the root work on seedlings. You've just got to be you know, careful with them. I don't see any active roots on these ones yet, which is good. So they're separated and I'll wash those up and then I'll get this one out too. And these were uh, given to me by Jason from the KW Club. He, uh, finds little seedlings and pots them up and gives them away which is really nice so thanks Jason. So I'll get these roots washed up and we'll come back for the root pruning and potting up of these trees. Here is a look at the root base on these three trees. So I'll start with this one. I can get it separated. So I'm just looking where do I start my radial root system? I guess right about here. So I'll take off the tap root here, which is not very thick. And then I'll do a prune on the roots, kind of shortening them. Bit of liverwort there I want to get out. There's a root that's way too high here. I'll take that off. And there's a couple of root hairs here that are too high. I wouldn't call them roots yet, but they will grow into roots. And then I think that's it. Take that one sticking off. Shorten this one a bit more. Yeah, I, I think that's got that root system pruned up. So the next one, you can see the tap root. There's a few surface roots starting here, so all I can do is take off that tap root, leaving a little bit of it on. And that's about all I can do for that tree. And the last tree, right here, there's a root way too high here I can take off. Um, some of these I can take off. They'll have, this will have to be the trunk. They're just too high. You can see my root base is down here. I'll trim this vigorous one back. A little bit of root pruning. That one kind of takes a turn there. One sticking up. And I think, oh, there's one sticking up too high there. Or it's too high in the root base. I think that's about all I can do on that one which, you know, is quite a bit. Oh, there's a root kind of growing. Yeah, on a funny angle here, I gotta take that off. Which is too bad, it had a lot of fine roots on it, but I think there's enough there that the tree will do well. So that's got that root system pruned up. So I'll plant the trees. I'm going to put them all in the same pot. I have a plastic training pot that I think will be a good size for them. I can grow them in here for a year or two and then repot them, work on the root system again, and then maybe they'll get their individual pots. Yeah, so the root system wasn't active on these trees yet, even though they're leafing out. So they have a good chance of survival. I don't think there'll be a problem with them. And hornbeams are quite tough. They can take a lot of root pruning. 
The trees are just getting smaller and smaller today. So these are some cuttings and they're Japanese maples and they have these really lacy leaves on them. So maybe, I don't know the name of them, but sort of a lace, lace leaf maple. So these cuttings were given to me last year and they're budding out. So there should be roots on them. So I'll get them out of the pot and we'll have a look. They are growing in bonsai soil, but I just feel like I should have a look at them and get them in some fresh bonsai soil. This is kind of full of moss and weeds. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any roots on them. You can see there's no roots yet. So I will just repot them as cuttings into fresh bonsai soil, into a better pot than this plastic one. Actually, this plastic one's not too bad. I'll put it in the same pot. It's a good tough pot. Yeah, and I'll just see if they can root this year. I've got a drainage screen in the bottom of the pot, so I'll add the soil. And I'll just reinsert the cuttings into the soil. And hopefully, they'll grow roots this year. So here I go. Put this one here, and I'll plant them at about the same depth. There. This one right here. Like that, and this one, which looks like a heel cutting, can go in this corner here. So I'll just make sure they don't dry out and we'll see we'll see how they do I suspect they will root because they have good buds on them however time will tell so those can go back on the bench also I potted up quite a variety of trees in this series the root systems were Quite bizarre in some of the trees and other trees had a fairly nice radial root system. So I will keep you updated on the progress of these trees later on on the channel. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.